Hello and welcome to another tech tip by VM Nerd. Today's tech tip is controlling from PFSense which computers on your network can use the private internet access VPN tunnel. This video is a spin-off from my previous video on configuring a PFSense firewall to use private internet access VPN for all computers on your network. Now that you have an established VPN tunnel, you may want to control which computers on your network can actually use it. And with that, let's get started. In our last video, we took our PFSense box and configured a VPN tunnel out to private internet access VPN service. And we did that so that way all the machines on our local area network or our LAN can connect using the internet, leveraging the IP address of the VPN provider. Okay, so, but let's say we don't want all of the machines on our LAN to do that. Let's say we just want maybe a couple of machines to do that. What we're going to do in this particular video is we're going to actually do just that. So I'm going to add a PC here. I'm going to give it a static IP. You can do it with dynamic and I'll, and I'll highlight that when we get to that area. But for the purposes of demonstration, we're going to go ahead and use a static IP address. Okay, and we're going to use 2.60. And we're going to do just that. We're going to do some configuration changes to allow this machine or this secondary machine access to the internet, leveraging our uh, VPN tunnel and then having our regular machine use our regular ISP IP address. Okay, so let's get configuring. Go ahead and save this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go to our PFSense firewall. And you know what? One thing I didn't do is, or that I should do for you guys is, let's go ahead and do a what is my IP, okay? So what is my IP? Okay, and if you look, it's 209.95.50.102, which corresponds to the VPN IP. And let me get you the IP address of the machine I'm on. Okay, and we're 2.50, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hop over to our guest machine that we're gonna use for this test. And let's go ahead and pin this for future use. Uh, here we go, pin. All right, we're going to do an IP config here as well. It's 2.60. And we're also going to do a what is my IP. And it should be the same. So 209.95.50.102, which correlates to our VPN gateway. Okay, so right now they're both currently using the VPN tunnel. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and, and take this machine that we're currently on and we're actually going to remove ourselves and actually only allow the 2.60 address to maintain connection through the VPN tunnel. Okay. So let's go ahead and log into PFSense, so whatever your top secret password is. Okay. And the first thing we need to do is we actually need to create an alias. Okay, so we'll add an alias. Um, and this one, let's see, allowed. You can pretty much call this whatever you want. VPN tunnel. Allow. We may have more than one, so we'll call it PIA for private internet access. Okay, you can give a description. It's really up to you. It doesn't really matter. Um, for types, as you can tell, we have a bunch of different types we can do. We can uh, use networks. We can use hosts. Um, but once you define the, the type, it's got to stay the type. Okay, so for this next section where it says host, let's go ahead and we're actually going to use the IP, but technically you can use the fully qualified name. So that's what I was talking about earlier about whether you have a dynamic IP or a static but in our case, because we know what it is, we actually have a static IP. So we'll leverage that. Okay, let's go ahead and do a save and apply. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to go over to our NAT services. Uh, under NAT, I go to our outbound NATs. And remember before where we uh, specified the uh, VPN interface as our NAT? configuration what we're going to do here is we're just going to clone them okay so and we're going to uh, enable it for WAN as well so that way uh, the machines can actually use either or and there's a static and then there's a regular so we'll go ahead and clone both just to be safe 
And at least for what we're doing, it, I don't really believe it matters what order they're in. Because it's really the, the rule that it's going to matter for. But we'll go ahead and just adjust them just to keep it simple. Okay, so next step is we actually need to go into the firewall and check our rules. Okay, so if you remember from before, we had a LAN and it was default gateway to the VPN service. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and clone the rule. Okay, and in this particular case, we're actually going to run it straight out the WAN gateway. Okay, and go ahead and click apply. So if you look by default, it's still going out the VPN. At this point, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to specify our source to an alias. And the alias is going to be the one that we just created that allowed PIA VPN tunnel. Okay, so we'll go ahead and from here, click save. So your rules should look something like this, where your source is now your entry that's in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and click apply. And let's go ahead and open that up again. Now, we're on our machine here, which will be allowed to use the ISP gateway. Okay, so let's go ahead and just test it for fun. Okay, so we'll do a what is my IP. And if you notice, we're actually using the new IP address. Okay, and let me just show you again. We'll go ahead and grab the, the IP address just to make sure. Oops. Okay. If you look, it's 2.50. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is check our other machine. And we're going to run a similar test. Okay. So, this is what it was before, but let's go ahead and do a so IP config so that way you guys can see the IP 2.60. We'll just open up a new window and we'll also do another what is my IP. And if you look, we are still going out the uh, VPN tunnel. So back to our illustration here. So this machine here is now actually using the ISP IP address, where this one here is actually now using the VPN or still using the VPN. And with that, based on what we have here, we can call our video here complete. Thanks again for watching our tech tip controlling from PFSense, which computers on your network can use the private internet access VPN tunnel. Have a great day.